Mommy, Mommy. I have been named a finalist in the cooking scholarship contest. On see win, it means free tuition for all of next year. I am so happy. But I don't know if I should make the bouillabaisse, pot au feu, or our famous Alsatian apple strudel? Such difficult choices. Boggy, make the strudel. I'm sure you will win if you make the famous Bogdanov strudel which has been made by our family for generations. Remember, you have to win. That scholarship is the only way we can continue to send you to cooking school. We cannot financially afford to otherwise. So remember, make the strudel and win. Good luck son. If you don't win, you will have to find other work. I don't know, maybe when your brother can do some cheesy science fiction movies or something like that. Oh wow! Judge Boomer is running another one of these student cook-off contests. Those are so fun to watch. It's always important that I learn new things every day, so that maybe I can find a good job one of these years. That's what my mom tells me so I am trying hard. Anyway, I definitely have to watch this, and can most likely learn a few things in the process. I am folks, get ready to see our student finalists, and their two cent crappy ass dishes. Never mind you NPC morons. Keep your mouths shut and just carry the damn sign across. Leave all the talking and culinary judging to me. Given that I am surely qualified for such decisions, and you two goofs surely are not. So anyway, welcome everybody to our little show here tonight, where the winner of this contest will receive a fully paid scholarship to our cooking school. We have here four finalists. Janice with her chicken masala. Marissa with her seafood paella royale. Bogdanov with his French Alsatian apple strudel, and Steve with his. Where the hell is Steve? He'd better get here pronto or I will disqualify his sorry ass. He has some nerve being late. Anyway, Steve with some shrimp Alfredo cockamamie dish or something like that. First up is Janice with her chicken masala. Janice, please send a good sampling my way. Hum. Janice I find your chicken masala rather bland. Yet whatever little taste is there, it's just purely sour. This is so bizarre considering all the sauce you have this sautéed in. Or should I say drowning in. The chicken is also tough and perhaps undercooked. I was hoping this would have been much better but I can clearly taste that it is not. So, Janice, I am sorry to say but for the score of this dish, I must award you with, a 3 out of 10. Stop this crying Janice, seriously. We are live on the TV. Next up is Marissa, with her seafood paella royale. Marissa, send a taste my way please. Mm, not bad, not bad. The shrimp is a little too chewy and the rice seems a bit undercooked. The other seafood and vegetables in here seems adequate, though a bit stingy in quantity. You could have added more. But overall this is, good, I'll say. I am definitely pleased, but not completely delighted and that's for sure. Marissa, for this dish, I award you with a score of 6 out of 10. Really Marissa? This isn't romper room. Stop all this crying silliness. Next up is Bogdanov with his French strudel. It looks good, so boggy, I truly hope and pray it tastes at least half as good as it looks. Send it to me. Yum. This is very good. Not perfect, but very good. I believe you may have been a little too stingy on the amount of apples you added, but overall, I'm really liking it. I have a strong hunch who's getting the scholarship this year. What can I say, call me Nostradamus. I award your dish a score of 8 out of 10. Good times, ah, 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 ah. 
Well well. Look what the cat brought in. Look who finally decided to show up. I'm sorry to tell you this Steve but due to your extreme tardiness and disrespect for the sanctity of this event, as well as that of your fellow students and competitors, I am going to have to disqualify you from the contest. I'm so sorry Judge Boomer, it wasn't my fault though, these, these underclassmen, they grabbed my dish and were running off with it. I had to chase them around the school, eventually I got it back, but I swear to you I'm not lying, you could check the security camera. I'm sorry Steve, but we have rules to follow, and if we don't it would be... Wait, wait, what in the hell is that? The that Look at these idiot freshman students. Thinking this is some sort of playground for their amusement while we are trying to broadcast an actual cooking competition. What the hell is wrong with these dumbasses? Get the hell out of here you stupid idiots. Can't you see we are in the middle of a cooking contest? This entire generation has no respect for anything or anyone. But vengeance will be a nasty bitch when they all get a nice big F on their report cards. Well Steve, in light of what we've just seen, I do believe your story has the ring of truth to it. Although I am still skeptical, I have reconsidered my decision and will allow you to remain in the contest. With that said, what is your dish again? Shrimp Alfredo? This better be damn good. Send it to me. Yum. Steve, this is incredible. I've never had such a tasty dish from a student. The Alfredo and cheese is just benet. Full of flavor, as are the shrimps and spices. Perfectly cooked at the right consistency. You have been excelling in class Steve, but this here sums it up in one single word. Magnificent. The score I shall give you for this dish is, a 9 out of 10. Making you the winner of this year's scholarship contest, thus, consider your tuition for next school year paid in full. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you Judge Boomer, I can only describe this honor in one word. This is... No! My poor poor Boggy. I am so sad and sorry to see you not win. Mommy. I was so close to winning, but that damn pariah, Steve, coming at the last minute with some two beat dish, and some the boomer judge loved it. I tried my very best, so I hope we can still find the money for me to continue at school next year. Pretty please. Well Boggy. It's like that one song goes. You tried your best. But your best won't do. In regard to your future in cooking school. Dump it, dump it, dump it. Damn that Steve, the no good lousy prick. I blame him. This is his fault. His fault, I can no longer go to my cooking school. I guess my dreams of being a chef. Caput. One day, somehow, in some way, I will find justice. I swear, I will prevail. What a character. Trying to add entertainment into cooking. I have had it up to here already with this chef Steve Brick. Because of him, I could not go to cooking school. And now at last, after many decades waiting for this moment, I shall have my revenge. I will hire an old cooking school enemy of chef Steve, who has now turned mercenary, to steal his joy of cooking. Just like he stole it from me so many years ago. Centurion. Please contact Shove. I am ready to speak with him. Why you idiot? You worthless piece of junk. Never mind, just get the hell out of here. Hey Siri. Kolchov.
Lord Bogdanov, it is an honor to receive your call. May I kindly ask, if you have made a decision on the Chef Steve plan, that we were previously speaking about? Pumpita. It will be done my lord. Chef Steve is about to become, a lame duck chef. Just do not fail me chef. Do not fail. The fuck? Chef, you feel see piece of trash. I do not tolerate failure and I am sick of your pitiful excuse. Not to worry my lord. I shall not fail the next time. I have here with me a list of 10 different plans to eradicate Chef Steve from the cooking world forever. He shall not escape our revenge this time. Not with the plans I have here on this most incredible list. Please give this list a look my lord, and tell me which plan to go with, and I shall make it so. Just tell me, what you want to do. Dump it. Wait, please my lord, let me explain. Ah. No explanation necessary. Hey Siri, please dial up that idiot chad. I need to speak to him now. The fuck? Hello master, it is always a delightful pleasure to hear your voice. How may I be of service today? Chad you piece of trash. I want you to make sure my two favorite wages slave are fired from wherever they are working currently and make sure they are blacklisted so that no one will hire them. Then, call me right back. I have a new master plan for how I wish to handle Chef Steve, and at the same time I will have those two wage clown, Vojak and the financial advisor, stuck exactly where I want them to be. Certainly, I will begin this task immediately, consider it done my lord. Good times, ah, 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 ah. Oh, hi, come in, come in. Hello Mr. Zoomer. I have no haircut idea for you today. It is very cool why? And the girls will go crazy for it. Super cool. Awesome sauce. I am ready, like spaghetti. Huh? What? Spaghetti? Oh, okay. You are the customer and the customer always right. <laughs>